today we are headed to Mexico. We are headed down to Rocky Point. Uh, since December 4th, the border crossing that we normally would cross at, at Lukeville, out of Phoenix, has been closed indefinitely. So that poses a little problem for us today, and it leaves us with two options. We can either cross at, let's see, at Nogales, or we can cross uh, just outside of Yuma at San Luis. So we're here in Yuma, getting ready to cross the border at San Luis. And we've seen lots of, you know, comments and questions on the internet about what is the road like? What is the border crossing like? And we hope to answer all those questions today. I have a concern once we get to Rocky Point, not getting to Rocky Point. I think the border is gonna be fine. There's two options after you cross the border. You can take the two or the three. I think we're gonna go with the three, but we're not for sure yet. Once we cross over the border, it's about three more hours to get to Rocky Point. We've been to Rocky Point before, never with Mr. Lemon. So I'm not actually concerned about getting to Rocky Point. I'm more concerned about once we get there. I've heard it's kind of like a ghost town right now. A lot of people aren't going because that border's closed. Some people are scared to go to a different border. And so, yeah, we're taking you guys along so that you can see exactly what the process is right now. So let's go. Man, these speed bumps are no joke. No, what do they call them in Mexico? Ta tapas. Tapas. So, so far we're like, what, 10 cars back from the border? Yeah. It's 10 o'clock in the morning or a little after 10 in the morning. And there's not a big line to get into Mexico. I don't understand why no one's in this right lane. And there's only two lanes, sure. so it's not like there's a big choice, but I don't understand why no one's going to the right. They're all, maybe, I don't know, maybe they're being directed to. It doesn't make any sense to me. Us? Does he want us? Of course, we're the only RV. I know. <laughs> they're calling us over to the other side. All right. Getting searched. No. 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 Cool. We're getting searched and they have dogs. Does he want me to go right here? You can just try it. Hello? Hello? No. Uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, Rocky, Rocky Point. Point. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, that's locked. Nothing to do Nothing no. to do Good? Okay. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Not too bad. No. Nope. I knew we'd get searched though. I mean, we have a big van. Mr. Lemon's never been searched. That's true. This that is, is first really time. True. First time. So that's the way to get back over to the USA. So take note, that is a long line. Don't come back at 10 a.m. So we are going to take, I believe it's Highway 3, which is a little bit farther south along the ocean, the Sea of Cortez versus going on the two, which basically will take you back to Sonoita and then you'd have to drive down to Rocky Point. So I feel like that would just add a lot of extra time. I have to watch the room pay. Yeah. So. You just want to drive by the water. I do. And there are potholes on this way. Yes. We've read that there's potholes and 
We've also read that they're fixing the potholes. Which would be very nice. So one thing about taking the three is I did a little research and did see that there is a military checkpoint and supposedly there's a toll. So I guess we'll see what we find. One thing we failed to mention was we do know where we are staying tonight. <laughs> this is not a boondocking adventure. We are going to stay at the Playa, Playa Bonita? Playa Bonita RV Park. Now, have we reserved it yet? No. But last time we were here, the protocol was you just pull up and pay for it. And I did reach out to them over on Facebook because there's not a there's no other way. Oh, it's 40 kilometers, Bob. Maxima. Maxima. Maxima, 40 kilometers. But the only way to get a hold of them is through Facebook. And so at least that's been our experience. Maybe there's other ways. But last time we came, it was super easy. And this time I reached out to them over Facebook again and asked them if they had availability. They said yes. And they said they should have a beach, beach front for $39 a night, which I think is great. We're 99% sure that everything is gonna go just fine with where we're sleeping tonight. We've got about two and a half hours of this two lane road, 45 miles an hour, basically open desert. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we've been on this road about 30 minutes, I would say. We're on the 197, uh, headed towards the three, and we just hit our first toll booth. I don't know how many there are on this road. I think only one, but we'll see. And the toll to cross was 110 pesos. This is your inspection. Is yep. Oh, uh, we're getting inspected. Oh no. You think they're gonna inspect the whole van, come inside of it again? No, I think this way they're gonna wave us by coming, coming back. back. They'll, they'll check. We'll see. It's the doctor. Yeah, this is the agricultural stuff. Oh. Hola. Uh, English? Yes. Ooh. Any fruits, any plants, sir? No. no. All right, to Rocky Point? Yes, to Rocky Point. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Super nice guy. It does stop, so gonna you gonna follow the rules? Because there's a huge drop off right oh. there. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. So what? there's all these cars waiting. Yeah, so the inspection back is gonna be. So note to self, We'll have to plan, plan on a little that. extra time, both because of this checkpoint and the border crossing in the US. crazy to me that instead of fixing the road they just like put like a dirt berm around it and just so you to protect it so you don't fall off but why not just fix the road
the camera straight. We're 122 kilometers away from Rocky Point and we just lost service. So that's one thing to note if you go on this road, you do lose service, at least if you have AT&T, because that's what we have. So we don't know for how long, but we'll keep you posted. I, I have to say, I am a little surprised at how like desolate and empty this route, this route is. It It's like, nobody's here. There's like one small town that we passed along the coast right after we kind of made our way onto the three. But outside of that, it has been scrub brush, like sand dune washed out hills. And then the water is like way off over in the distance. And that's it. There's and, not a lot here. And no traffic. No, I've been passed a couple of times because I'm trying to respect the speed limit, but that's okay. Because the roads are kind of, there's been a couple places where they're a little sketchy. But not very many. Yeah, not too bad though. No. It's clear where you need to be careful because they have like the big sand pile that's like halfway into the middle of your lane. Well, and they've, some of them, there is uh, orange cones. Yes, they put orange cones up. Yeah. There is some like, pothole patch that's been put down so the road's not too bad just the big big places that you got to be careful of. like here's a little pothole patch oh, and uh, you pass. just kidding no no pothole patch in that one there was but one off to the right though you missed it though so that's good yeah they're easy to see good driving okay so we have 34 kilometers left and we just got service back on our phones an LT. So we have 25 minutes to the RV park, 34 kilometers to go, and we have service, so that's good. So, we are at the RV park. Time to go see if they have availability, which I'm pretty sure they do. But we really want beachfront, right? Right, yes. right, right? I would love to have some beachfront RV parking spot-ish. Ish. Yeah, camping spot. Ish. What do you call that? I would love to have a beachfront spot. Yeah. So, let's go and see what we can get. I think they gave us a great spot. We haven't seen it yet, but they gave us spot number nine. Yeah. She said near the bathrooms. And the restaurant. And the restaurant. And well, not really near the restaurant, but nearer yeah. than last time we were here. Yep. And beachfront. So let's go check it out. Okay. So I'm assuming this goes up here. All right, so I just connected to our leveler. We've got a little more work to do to get this thing level. So I actually need to back up and see if I can get more level. Let me pause, let me check and see where the utilities are and we'll go from there. Oh, wow. Okay. There's the town. Here's the ocean, but obviously the tide is way out, but works for me. Oh, what have you got there? It is Christmas time. It is Christmas. So we're partially set up. Almost. Almost set up. Bob Quick is in the bathroom and I'm gonna show you around right here. It's so crazy because we've been here before. If you've been watching our channel for like, I think about two years ago we came here and we were in our other van. Oh, hi bird. 
<laughs> we came here. So it's so cool to be back. And now Mr. Lemon's here. But you got your office, TV room, laundry, bathrooms, Big old bird. Hello. Look at Wow. Not too shabby, right? $39 a night to stay right there. So far, so good. So here's the showers. And you have five to choose from. I thought this was the bathroom. This is the shower room. Let's go find the bathroom. Oh, there it is. I was just giving him a quick tour. Nice. I think Bob and I have decided though, because of the closure of the border, yes. of the Lukeville border, and it add, adding on at least two and a half, three hours of a trip. I don't think this is a weekend trip right now. I think it's like, if you're gonna come here for a week, worth it. Or, to, or more, like or more. a month or maybe like for the whole entire winter. Yeah. Definitely. Worth it. Yeah, but just for a weekend, I think it's a lot of driving. It is. It was a lot of driving. It was like six, six and a half hours of driving. Yeah. So, but we're here now. And look at these people clearly live here, at least part time. These are their little winter homes, I bet, or summer homes. set up and now we're gonna go down the beach and see if this restaurant that we just fell in love with last time is open and have some apps and drinks Sandy Beach. Oh. And okay. that's where they were originally planning to bring in cruise ships, but for whatever reason, they never did. Oh. Apparently, Bob is bringing Christmas to the van. It is Christmas week, so it makes sense. <sighs> All right. I need to sit and relax for a moment and watch this beautiful oceanscape. 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 TV time.